No, no, no. The year just started. W what do you mean there's already a trailer for a Mickey Mouse horror movie? This thing must look horrible. There's no way this is any good. happened my friends this is a real thing that is actually going on in Hollywood today January 1st of 2024 Steamboat Willie the earliest incarnation of Mickey Mouse is now public domain meaning anybody and anyone can touch this version of Mickey Mouse not in his willy but on Steamboat Willie. So what I'm gonna do here for you guys is just breaking down this trailer that got released for the Mickey Mouse horror movie titled Mickey's Mousetrap. If this trend in Hollywood needs to continue, because this isn't the only one. This is like one and a dozen that are being made and released this year. Who is benefiting from this? Does anyone even like watching these movies? Uh, please, I bet someone you in the comments can be more creative with a Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie horror movie. I'd love to hear it down below. But okay, jumping right into it here. The they started off kind of interesting because we didn't just get the trailer for Mickey Mouse horror movie released, we got a video game announcement. A video game entitled Infestation 88 was the first Mickey Mouse knockoff, ripoff, or public domain use, whatever you want to call it, of the character that will be turned almost into a horror icon. The game is an indie horror game, it's a co-op four player game where you play as this guy in a hazmat suit trying to get rid of this rat infestation where there is one humanoid giant rat in the shape of Mickey Mouse and even even though this is definitely dumb, already this video game is 10 times more creative than what we're going to talk about with this movie trailer. At least they're playing into what Mickey Mouse is, an actual mouse, a rat. One that looks human, like does this costume look weird? Yeah, but it's already kind of iconic. Like why is Mickey Mouse wearing boxing gloves? Isn't it just supposed to be regular gloves? This is what YouTube boxers look like once they retire. But like that seems like a dumb fun time and obviously they we're working on it anticipating this day January 1st 2024 when Steamboat Willie would be allowed for anybody and they could just make a quick buck off a recognizable IP right that's the whole point of doing this so we saw that and we were like okay that's dumb silly but you know what I'd give that game a chance I'd play it it looks like it'd be kind of entertaining especially since you could play it with a group of friends so I was sat back going it's a matter of time before we get this horror movie trailer and oh boy we got it Mickey's Mousetrap looking at the first poster here the tagline for this movie is this is not the fun house and you know that's right because there ain't a dang hot dog in this poster and that's what mickey mouse likes hot dog but already, you almost gotta give them a little bit of credit, because they were extremely clever with this title. So, the thing that most people are getting confused with is that Mickey Mouse as a whole is not public domain, okay? The Mickey Mouse you probably picture in your mind, the one with the red shorts, yellow buttons, and it currently has, like, cartoons running on Disney, whatever. That version of Mickey Mouse is still very much protected by Disney, and that is their version of Mickey Mouse. The version that is now public domain that you can make a movie on is the black and white one is the one that isn't really even named Mickey Mouse. His name is Willie. He's on a steamboat and along with all the other characters that show up in that short. And so with that said, it looks like the name Mickey, you know, is still kind of copyrighted and under Disney's protection because this is Steamboat Willie, not Mickey Mouse. But here with the title, they named it Mickey's Mouse Trap. So obviously you have the words Mickey and Mouse, but it's used in a legally safe way, with that apostrophe taking ownership of the phrase mouse trap. Now you got a way to put the words Mickey and Mouse on a poster, obviously registering with the general public because we just see Mickey and Mouse and we think, oh yeah, I know that guy. But okay, let's take a look at this trailer because oh man, if you thought the Winnie the Pooh movie was made on an extremely low budget, Mickey's Mouse Trap is made on the same $20. The plot they currently have right now is it's Alex's 20 first birthday but she's stuck at the amusement arcade on a late shift so her friends decide to surprise her but a mass killer dressed as Mickey Mouse decides to play a game of his own with them which she must survive. In the trailer itself it even pays homage to Steamboat Willie they have like a projector where it's playing the original short that is now public domain that anyone can use and well, I mean, why not throw that in there since it's just free to use? But everything about this once child 
childhood friendly icon turned horror movie is exactly why I think this cliche is so overdone and ridiculous. Mainly because there's almost little to no creativity involved in what you're trying to rip off. I have no problem with you turning childhood icons into horror characters. In fact, I encourage it. I'm a sicko, alright? I would happily watch that kind of stuff. But they always go with the most unoriginal, uncreative route of just a guy in a mask that looks like Mickey Mouse holding a knife slashing people up. It's essentially what Winnie the Pooh did. You know, in that movie, we were supposed to believe that that wasn't a guy in a mask, that that's actually humanoid Winnie the Pooh, a bear, but you watch that movie and it just feels like a guy in a mask, basically an extremely poor version of Michael Myers. And you know, it was kind of watchable. I, I'll give them props with the cinematography in there. They made their low budget money work. Here, I don't know. They had a couple of cool shots here. Like, you know, Mickey here and some red light. The shot of the mask looks cool. I'll even give them props for that one shot of the security camera and Mickey Mouse looking at it. Like, that's all you're really gonna get here is like a handful of like interesting shots. But this premise of just a guy in a mask going about taking their friends, what can we do more? What, what, why'd you even set it in an arcade? Are you trying to be another Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff? Like, how about analyze the short that it comes from and take all it there? Why not set this thing on a yacht or on a boat? You got Steamboat Willie, right? Play into that. What about the other little animal creatures that show up in that short? They're free to use in public domain. Get a couple of other masks in that budget and have it be a gang of friends. When it just comes down to, we'll make it look like Mickey Mouse and then just go from there, it is so boring and dumb but what's even more interesting is like this trend in Hollywood it doesn't seem to be dying down because you look at this trailer and you hear some of the atrocious dialogue like let me play this for you I'll be right back <laughs> and he's dead what? like if he was in a horror movie you'd never say I'll be right back because then you don't Oh, that, look, look at them. They're this generation's scream right there. I see what you did there. But because these movies are made on such a low budget, like maybe ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 max, and with one release in theaters, out of pure curiosity to see what a Mickey Mouse horror movie could look like, they could easily 10 times their money just by making one or $2 million there an instant hint. So that's why we started seeing so many more of these movies pop up. Like this February, we're getting the sequel to Winnie the Pooh. And man, they're going from a $50,000 budget to a $1 million budget. They're actually having the money to throw in more Winnie the Pooh characters, the owl, the tiger, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, and they all gave them actual proper prosthetics where they're not just gonna look like guys in masks. Maybe we have to sit through these really bad, uncreative sequels, and then as they slowly snowball in the money, we'll get the cool ideas, because I'll tell you right now i'm, I'm kind of curious to see how the winnie the pooh one turns out now that they have a million dollar budget like that's that's actual hollywood money right there but right now it looks like we'll just have to sit through trash after trash this isn't something i'm genuinely hyped for but if the views of this video go well oh i'll sit through it i'll buy a ticket in the theater i'll be part of the problem and let you know what happens in the movie so you don't have to buy a ticket. See right there? Symbiotic relationship. That's what we got right here, my friends. But you guys see this trailer for the Mickey Mouse horror movie. What do you think about this? Is this something you're actually going to watch? You're going to watch it with your friends? Do you think? Do you have any hope at all it could be fun? What do you think about these childhood characters being turned into horror icons? Who would you want to be next? I'm curious to hear it all down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.